Scorpio, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. Let's start with your main energy. Okay, your first message today is, I find deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Ain't that the truth? With this discomfort, you might be experiencing some sort of delay. I would actually add a fortunate delay because it's bringing growth and understanding. Even if throughout this delay, some insecurities might come up, making you second guess your feelings, your decisions. Eventually, we see here that the truth is going to rise up on the surface. It will be impossible to hide, impossible to camouflage, and it will allow you to understand what has truly been going on here, allowing you to finally decide to keep moving towards this person, towards this situation, or maybe just start walking away from it once for all. You know, not all the storms come in to destroy. Some of them come in to clear our path and come in to help us finding what we were truly looking for. And so let's see what this message is about and let's start with your reading, Scorpio. What? <laughs> this is interesting to say the least. All right, let's uh, let's start from the beginning. First of all, two of ones, nine of ones. I see here a map, and the two dots that we see on this map represent you and the other person or you and the goal, the energy that you're thinking about. And right now, the two of you are very distant uh, geographically, emotionally. There is an ocean of obstacles and potential delays in between the two of you at the moment. And at times, someone here might think that it would be so much easier if this connection wasn't there. Nine of Wands, love is hard. Fighting for what you want is hard. Knowing what you want is hard if, you're not, if you cannot have it right away. So right here, someone is thinking it would be much easier so that you wouldn't have to live in such waiting state, holding your breath for something to perhaps come in or not, for something to finally happen. For something to get unblocked and for some good news to show up in regards of this situation. Now, you also often feel as if you were the one, the only one who has to initiate, who always has to make the effort of keeping the situation alive in a way or another, despite all of all the issues and delays. And you're starting to become very tired of it. It's hard to make someone your priority when they treat you like an option instead. And the main issue comes from the fact that you cannot fully be certain that this person does this on purpose. If you were sure about that, I know you, Scorpio, you would have already walked away. But the fact that there is some mystery around the possibility for this person to care as much as you do or not keeps you hanging around the hangman down here, keeps you going back to this at times, and it inevitably ends up keeping you stuck. Now, if I can tell anything about this person that is clearly showing up here on the table is that they actually are very attracted to you. 
and they often do think about you, but they're not actively showing anything to you and to the energies that come up on this uh, in this reading, actually. But we'll have to see what's going on now in the heart of the reading, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Hangman, and also look at the Six of Cups reverse. It's definitely very interesting on your end, Scorpio. Although you are taking off in the initiative to keep the momentum going, not a want, not a sword, movement, going for things. But the truth is that emotionally, you're not expressing a lot to this person. You are also withholding something very important here. There is so much more that you would want to tell them. So much more that you want would want them to know, but given the confusion and current delays, you're finding it hard to really let certain things out, which, you know, could put you in a position of vulnerability, in a position of rejection, even misunderstandings. Maybe most of this is happening online, texting, and it's easy to create misunderstandings in that environment. You would want to tell them about the fact that you expect more from them. You would want to tell them that if they really do care about you, then it's time to wake up. It's time to show in it clearly. You do not, you do not want to be the only knight here. Knight brings movement. You want them to do the same and to bring balance back into the situation. Right now, there is no balance at all. So what I see here is that overall there is fear of admitting that. There is fear that comes from someone who does not want to appear needy, who does not want to show to the other person that they have actually built some expectation when it comes to this. But you're finding it hard to be just overall honest in a situation that clearly seem to be lacking honesty and transparency you know for scorpios one thing is the mystery and another thing is people leading you on lying to you and playing games with you that is not something that you allow something that you want to put up with not at all doesn't matter how attracted you are you are going to cut that off right away you know one thing that i actually see here that hasn't occurred to me before is that this person actually is in a clear position of blocking the truth from you. The Six of Cups is going into their energy sphere as well. This person is missing you. They have something in particular that they miss about you. Um, a memory or something that you do, something that they really like about you. But they're not wanting to let, let that out at all. They're not telling you. And although so far, I have to be honest, I just perceive this person as being a little lazy, not wanting to go out, go out of their comfort zone in the same way that you are. Right now, instead, I start seeing someone who actually has a lot to say, but who for some reason is keeping it closed up in a safe somewhere, not wanting for you to really know what's going on over there. What is going on with this person? That's definitely a mystery right now. We really need to clarify this energy to see better what this is about. But regardless of the fact that we cannot see it right away or not, with this tower energy, you know, the truth is coming up. And obviously we've seen it with the first message up there. There are two things coming up in the near future regarding the situation, of course. The first one comes from this person. Look at this. Two of ones, and now we see the three of ones. We see absolutely movement right here. This is going to surprise you. It's going to be somewhat unexpected for you. It's going to bring some very much needed clarity overall, you know? Not sure if this is positive or negative yet, but keep in mind that clarity is always positive because it allows you to move forward with determination and allows you to stop wasting your time in case you have been wasting your time up to this point. This will either be the end of the connection 
or the end of this cycle of obstacles that we have been looking into. Also, there is a little tiny good news coming up. It won't be the be all and all news, but it will make something possible that wasn't possible before. It will take things to the next level in a sense. But in order to see what the actual long-term potential of this news and connection is, we need to see what cards come up when we clarify the evolution of this situation. At the end of the day, what's really clear in this reading is that the attraction is there. Perhaps even the love is already there. But there is something missing here which is causing a major blockage and eventually could end up jeopardizing something that otherwise could be true, truly beautiful, honestly. How can you have so much passion, so much attraction in one reading and then see so little movement? This person is definitely a mystery to you and to me at this point. So let's start clarifying already. Let's um, read into this person's energy in order to understand if this interest is even strong enough to eventually translate into something concrete or is this just bound to dissolve into nothing into thin air let's see what this person is about to do in the near future which will surprise you as we were saying and let's see how this overall situation is bound to evolve in the next few months If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Scorpio, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading. And the reading is live as well. This week, actually, I am offering the yearly reading as well, month by month, and the reading will actually be 45 minutes long. I select people every Monday morning and send out emails. Please, please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming situation, the Ace of Wands, and it's completing the picture. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, but this is something that is actually very important because this is talking about someone who's clearly going to make a move. If you look up the meaning for the Ace of Wands, it will tell you that this move has potential for the long term. And that is part of the unexpected energy that we were talking about. At this point, perhaps, you have started slowly giving up on the potential that this could be long term. You might have been thinking, you know what, if this was meant to last a long time, it would have started already. But this Ace of Wands will prove you wrong. The Ace of Wands brings a spark back into a situation that had a lot of passion, but that now, throughout this delay, perhaps, uh, has been starting to cool down. Well, right now, this person is going to show you their true colors. They're going to show you what they really want and don't want, perhaps, even from this connection. There is clarity with the Ace of Wands. And we need to see where this clarity is going to take you. Someone here is being very bold. And it's just coming out of the blue. You're like, well, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Where is this coming from? So let's see what this is going to be. And first of all, let's read into this person's energy and let's see what they are about. The real feelings. Why is this six of cups reversed? What do they really think and feel for you? Let's start from that energy. Mm. Oh, I see why this person has actually been pushing away this uh, feeling, this connection that they do have for you, by the way. We see the confirmation, but there is something right here that they are fighting and it will actually surprise you. What we see right here with the seven of ones and the three of cups is that...